Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel. We are the Lion Gaming Crew, and in this Hitman 3 video, we're going to be doing a Silent Assassin suit-only run on Whittleton Creek, Colorado. This is going to be our loadout. We're using the Ashen suit with gloves because, you know, my wedding's coming up, and it low-key looks like my wedding suit, so... And we're picking up the ICA-19 Silver Baller. The classic lockpick, any briefcase you want. This is going to be mandatory, the ICA remote micro taser. It cannot be the regular one, it needs to be the micro taser for this to work. If you want to cut out a step, you can use the park shed or any stash and stash yourself some poison, some lethal poison pills. Any of the lethal poison will work, but we're going to show you guys how to get the lethal poison in case you don't have it unlocked. We're going to play on casual difficulty, so let's get right into it, man. This is a really easy silent assassin suit only. It just takes a little bit longer because we, we are forced to find those clues that are scattered around the map. There's three of them. I'm, I'm showing you guys the easiest three, so this method should be easily repeatable. And uh, it should be able to get you guys that silent assassin suit only if you haven't already gotten it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our micro taser out of our briefcase and uh, we're just going to run on the sidewalk here leading up to Nolan Cassidy's house and all we have to do to uh, take out Nolan Cassidy is literally just walk up to this mailbox and we're going to conceal the ICA micro taser inside of there now he is going to go and he's going to retrieve that he's going to put it in his pocket because it's a micro taser so he doesn't really know what it is and he's just going to shove that in his pocket we're going to get the picture in picture popping up on the top left side of the screen letting us know that uh, he has retrieved that and as soon as he grabs that um, we can just go ahead and detonate that and that will be Nolan Cassidy taken out uh, you don't have to worry because it's going to be count as an accident kill so the body will be found but you'll still retain your silent assassin rating so that is a very neat trick uh, shout out to Mr. Freeze 2244 for showing me this trick, man. Shout out to him. I'll leave a description uh, in the description a link to his channel. He's a very prominent uh, Hitman 3, just Hitman in general YouTuber. He does a very good job at explaining the Silent Assassin suit only runs, so it's easily repeatable and uh, easy for me. So we're gonna go ahead and there is the picture in picture of Nolan Cassidy retrieving that micro taser we got to watch out for this gardener dude we don't want him to spot us here you're gonna have your first opportunity to uh, get some lethal stuff right there and that is the lethal poison frog we're going to be using that to take out uh, Janice we can go ahead and trigger that there is Nolan Cassidy down now uh, we got to take out this Baker dude we're gonna wait for him to uh, come back on his pathing this way or you know what we can risk it for the biscuit and go ahead and uh, throw our, chuck our briefcase at him right now. There we go. As long as we take him out, and we just have to drag his body way over here into these bushes. Uh, you really do. You don't. You really don't have to worry too much about his body. But we're trying to be extra careful on this run. We don't want any bodies getting found because a uh, fumigator dude is gonna come into this backyard a little bit later on. So it's just nice to uh, hide all of the evidence. So drag him till he's in those red bushes over there. We're going to go pick up the thing that he dropped right here, these documents. That is going to be the Jane first piece of our clue. Just going to grab everything around here, speak. grab the soda can. James There's also Bad. some emetic Thank poison, so if you want to take James out Janus by drowning him, you can do that as well. we got a couple the more lawsuit. things we need to grab in this location, then we're going to dev up out of here. We're going to go in here, we're going to grab downtown. the lot suit documents, so and that done we're gonna grab the shovel so we can grab the second piece of the clues just don't uh, forget about that gardener guy he's patrolling this area so we're gonna drop our briefcase right around here oh sorry that's not what I wanted to do drop the briefcase right around here because you're not gonna be able to uh, use this dig animation if you have that briefcase so as soon as you get the animation for the dig you don't have to worry about when you're in this animation you cannot be spotted so like as long as you crouch right away afterwards you're good to go Go ahead and pick up that cigar box, drop the shovel, run back, grab your briefcase, and we're going to take it this way out of here. Very nice and easy. So we got two out of the three clues already. The last one is in our target's house, so it's relatively easy. You don't have to worry about getting spotted. Just open that door. 
and then take this route I take right here. We're going to go through that white gate up ahead, jump the fence into the neighboring yard, and we're going to make our way to grab some lethal poison. Now, if you have lethal poison already, you can just skip further in the video till we actually take him out. Wait for this guard to have his back turned, and then you can go ahead and take this route right here. Watch out for the guard in this backyard as well. He's going to be sitting on this bench for about a minute, and then he'll switch positions. So just wait for him to uh, switch positions before you make that leap over into this backyard. Now, in this house, we're going to be grabbing um, a medic poison and also lethal poison. Like I said, if you already have the lethal poison, then you can just skip a little bit farther. In the video, I'll try to put timestamps in the description so it's a little bit easier to navigate. So this guard is about to switch positions right now. When he starts turning his back to us, we'll be able to make our move. We probably could do it right now because there is a there's a bush on the opposite side, but we don't want to take any chances. This part does take a little bit of time, man, because you can never really... Like, you can get these guards to... We can manipulate the position of them right now by throwing our briefcase over there or something like that, but we're just going to wait. He's smoking a cigarette right now, so as soon as he gets done with that... He's going to move, so he's going to move right now. Oh, almost got spotted from that guard behind us. So we are going to hop the fence right now. And we're going to run, run, run while crouched over here. We're going to go inside this window. Now, if you're around the, sa around the same time as me, uh, this lady will still be in the kitchen talking to the baker guy. Go ahead and turn this vacuum on and then turn it off. And go ahead and run down these stairs and just hide behind her car right here so wait for her to come in we're gonna knock her out and then we're gonna knock the baker dude out as well we're gonna grab ourselves a blueberry muffin now we need the blueberry muffin to poison because that is how we're going to take out uh janice so as soon as she comes in here chuck her briefcase at her head knock her out and stash her in the ice box behind us we're going to do the same thing for the baker guy. Just uh, watch out because there is a guard that will um, walk into the house and run into the front door. So just make sure he's actually doing that right now. He's going to go answer the door. So just make sure he is passed by. And once he's passed by, you are good to go. Then you can take out the baker guy. So he's going to be in the bathroom. He's going to be going to the bathroom right now and take the baker guy out. We just lost our silent assassin right there, but that's okay. This guide will still be acclimable. He uh, literally just spotted us at the last second. Waited too long. So we're going to go ahead and stash this guy in the ice cooler. We're going to grab our blueberry muffin. We're going to grab the poison. And we're going to dip up on out of here. Just be careful for that guard. He's still in the bathroom. He's making his way out right now. He's going to go answer the door. So we're going to grab ourselves some items from around here. We're going to grab the blueberry muffin that we need to take out Janice. We're going to grab our briefcase, grab more blueberry muffins, because you can never have too many blueberry muffins, and we're going to open up this door leading into the basement right now. So we're going to go into the basement, we're going to grab the lethal poison, and then we're going to make our way to Janice's house and take him out. So that is kind of shitty that we lost our silent assassin rating, because uh, I literally made one mistake, but that's what happens when you do these live, man. I wanted to do it live to show you guys how easy it is to repeat this. Um, we would have gotten it, but I just didn't nail the timing right. So we're going to jump this bush right here, or jump that fence, hide in the bush, make sure that guy's got his back turned, hop this, use your lockpick on the door. Be careful, there is a guard in this basement area, so just make sure he has his back turned to you. And then uh, you can go up behind him and subdue him. And we're going to stash this guy in the crate, or the storage locker right behind us. So we're going to stash him right now. And then we're going to go upstairs. We're going to plant the muffin. We're going to poison the muffin. We have to deal with one more guard after this guy. This is going to be the second to last guard. We're going to also grab our third clue right here, which is this picture. So as soon as we grab that, there we go. We got third clue down. Now, you got to be careful because Janus is going to be walking around the if top, Janus so wait for him it, to pass. Like, he's going to go upstairs for a couple of minutes. He's going to, like, breathe in his, his, like, breathing machine. That's when you want to make your move. So he's going to be coming past us right now, going down the hallway, 
and he's going to be headed up the stairs. This rotation is where you want. Now the only guard we have to worry about is the one that's still in the kitchen. But if you do what I'm about to do here, so you wait for his bodyguard to pass. And it's time to end now we're gonna have to wait for this guy's rotation. This guy's rotation sucks balls because he po he posts up right here for a couple seconds and then he's gonna move. So we're just gonna go ahead and shut that door while Janice is at the front door. When as soon as he moves, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna take this guard out. We're gonna stash his body, and then we are going to poison the muffin. So risk it for the biscuit. Take him out. Drag his body. Make sure you pick up his weapon too. You don't want to leave any weapons on the ground. Because uh, the bad news bears. If uh, Janus sees that weapon, he's gonna freak out, and it's gonna spoil everything. So get this guy stashed, and then we'll go plant the blueberry muffin. Janus should be on his way upstairs right now. So we're gonna clear the whole bottom floor. It shouldn't have any guards, anything like that. So it's gonna go right here, place the blueberry muffin, and you're just gonna poison it. And then this kill will basically set itself up. You can either use the lethal poisonous frog that we found, you can use the lethal pills, or um, if you wanna go for a drowning, you can do a medic pills as well. I always like to do this. You don't have to do this part right here, but I always like to pour the tea and put the emetic poison in the tea, you know, just because we have it. So might as well use it really quick. So we got everything set up here. We're gonna grab the gun, grab the briefcase before we make our way out. And then you can either use the garage door or you can just hop out of the window right here and open up this right here. Close that behind us. And now we're just going to find an exit, basically. Um, again, this is still going to be applicable, yeah, even though the Baker dude um, turned around literally at the last second. And uh, yeah, he, he's us. But you know what, though? It's still Silent Assassin, man. You can follow this guide. It's going to work. Trust me. I've, I did the play three times before I shot this video too so I thought I had the timings down so I do apologize for that man I'll probably remake all this video at a later date too because I love Hitman 3 man it is such a fun game I love going for the silent assassin suit only runs because it's like it's the ultimate challenge you know what I mean like how much of a virtual assassin are you you know can you silent assassin suit only a map you know what I mean and that that's just like a fun challenge for me so I love making these videos I have another one coming out for Dubai, I think, on Monday. So now we're just going to wait for Janice to go back downstairs. As soon as he passes past that kitchen, he's going to spot the muffin. He's going to walk over and he's just going to eat the muffin because, like, I guess if you walk in your kitchen and you see a random muffin there that you know you didn't make, you just take a bite out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, that Because apparently that's what this dude does. Like, that, yeah. Uh, at least have your bodyguard, you know? Like, if you're, like, a... Like an old like dude like Janus, you know, and he's got like all the security and stuff. Wouldn't you have your security take a bite out of that muffin before you took a bite out of it? You know what I mean? Just in case it was poisoned. Like that's just me thinking though. But you know, I'm kind of glad he doesn't have his bodyguard test the muffin because then this whole strat wouldn't work. So yeah, we're basically just chilling. You know, reading U.S. now, I guess apparently. Um, pretty good detail on that newspaper actually. Yeah, this does take a little bit of time because Janice is literally the slowest, slowest moving target ever, man. He just, like, waltzes around his house. Like, he doesn't have a care in the effing world. It's like, hey, dude, we're on a time schedule here. We're trying to assassinate you in a timely fashion. Could you, like, hurry up, you know? So after he goes outside and he starts yelling at the mole people, I think is when he makes his way into the kitchen. My last run was, like, right around, like, 12 minutes. Yep, so he's investigating the distraction now, finally. So they go up there and we're gonna get target eliminated as soon as he takes a bite of that yep boom and his body's gonna get spotted but it is an accident kill so you don't have to worry you're still gonna have your silent assassin rating and then you can just exit the mission right at the bus stop so that is how to silent assassin suit only Whittleton Creek Colorado and Hitman 3 um, yeah man it's pretty easy strat using that micro taser and the poison both accident kills so you really don't have to worry about bodies you don't even have to worry about hiding them which is so 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 nice and uh if this video helped you at all man definitely let me know by leaving a like on the video i know it doesn't say silent assassin on there it's because the baker dude spotted us but that won't happen to you because you're better than me at this game and i believe in you so i hope you all enjoyed man i got some diablo 3 content coming out later tonight so with that, man, I hope you all have a fantastic night. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way till the end, you are an absolute legend. And I hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, stay gaming. Peace.